दिस इज ऑफ ए इक्वेटोरियल फॉर्म इक्वेटोरियल फॉर्म ओके नाउ सी अर ऑन दिस वॉट इज द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ऑन दिस दैट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द ब्रोमिन आइटम विच इज अटैच टू ए कार्बन आइटम्स विथ ए कार्बन नंबर थ्री एंड कार्बन नंबर फाइव ऑफ वॉट एवर मे बी द हाइड्रोजन आइटम्स आर अटैच एज द सेम पोजिशन द ब्रोमिन आइटम इज रिप्लेस बाय ए फ्रॉम ए हाइड्रोजन आइटम दैट मीन्स वॉट दैट इज दिस हाइड्रोजन दिस ब्रोमिन एंड दिस हाइड्रोजन ऑल थ्री आर इन लाइ इन ए वन प्लेन ड्यू टू दिस वन प्लेन there is a introduction of a this develops a 1 3 diaxial repulsion repulsion interaction a repulsion interaction here okay do you what that is these are comes to here therefore they produce a internal steric strain therefore there is a 1 3 diaxial repulsion interaction which causes the internal strain and thus the molecule becomes of a chair form of a bromocyclohexane becomes a strain rubber now in order to occupy this strain rubber molecule of a chair form of a bromocyclohexane acquires some extra energy which this extra energy that is 2.07 kilo joule per more than the equatorial form to reduce the this increase the strain therefore what happens whatever may be in the chair form of bromocyclohexane here bromine atom acquires the axial position it do not fix into that position it starts to rotate into its equatorial position thereby minimizing this 1 3 diaxial repulsive interactions which causes what that is the reduction of a strain and thus the equatorial form of this bromocyclohexane becomes a more strainless molecules and it has a less energy and as it possesses the less energy therefore the equatorial form of a bromocyclohexane is becomes a stable one in comparison with a chair but a chair form is a strain the one therefore it acquires some extra energy that is 2.07 kilo joule per mole of a energy but what happens in the normal room temperature at normal room temperature this chair form of bromocyclohexane and equatorial form of a bromocyclohexane inter converts to each other via flexible board conformations therefore these two conformations cannot be separated from each other and the experimental discussion shows that about 95% about 95% of which that is the chair form form of a equatorial position of a bromocyclohexane is exist with a only 5% is of a axial form is exist as there is very small difference in potential energy by barrier that is 2.07 kJ per mole is exist therefore it is possible to reduce all the strains with a average energy in between 63.4 to 84.1 kJ per mole which is which the energy is very very less that is between this but with this values that is average potential energy value for this bromocyclohexane between this and in between this whatever may be the strain or energy of a particular chair form is very very less therefore the most stable equatorial form of a bromocyclohexane is exist one there is a dynamic equilibrium between this is the equilibrium sign equilibrium between the chair form of bromocyclohexane and equatorial form of a bromocyclohexane via flexible board formation now we can have to draw here some the potential energy level diagrams here in terms of a graphical point here the graphical point here as like this okay now
here potential energy okay this is the graphical format of this okay like this now this is the chair form this is the board form okay now this is the flexible form form ts1 transition state 1 transition state is a 2 okay and in between this difference that is equal to a 2.07 kilojoule per mole at normal room temperature what happens here dynamic equilibrium between the chair form of bromocyclohexane and the board form of a bromocyclohexane <coughs> chair form of these two cyclohexanes via a flexible board here also one more point is that that should be added to here that is here due to the difference due to less difference 2.07 kilojoule per mole here that is here 1 3 diaxial interactions 1 3 diaxial interactions becomes less in a equatorial form equatorial form of bromocyclohexane okay a bromocyclohexane thus we have explained here that is the, the potential energy diagram with a compound that is monosubstrate form that is equal to a bromocyclohexane now next point is about that that is the methyl cyclohexane methyl cyclohexane okay i can draw here the diagram see here what is the diagrammatic representation of here it is like this of this here that is C methyl cyclohexane here okay okay now here in front of this hydrogen atoms we can show here as this is the solid bond this is of a which bond that is base shaped or dash bond here and this is a dotted bond here. H okay now this is the equatorial hydrogen equatorial axial here <coughs> equatorial in this fashion we can write here as that is equatorial axial here also a equatorial axial here also okay equatorial equatorial axial axial now this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay these are the this is the methyl group here substituted at this position okay now first line is here the format here these formats are exist in between the chair form also here on this C H now here also this type of H here okay and this type of this also a H okay now what about to here now here on this here this is the equatorial hydrogen this is also equatorial this is axial hydrogen this is equatorial this is equatorial this is axial now this is 
axial, this is axial, equatorial, this is of a equatorial, this is of a also equatorial axial. Okay. Now this is one, two, three, four, five, and here six. Okay. Now here, as far as here, this is this hydrogen atom, this hydrogen atom, and this is also a this CH three bond. Okay. Now here the case is different one. That is a methyl cyclo hexane here. We can write here as in simpler form of methyl. Here, chair form of of methyl cyclohexane. Here, at normal room temperature, these two forms conformers of a cyclohexane with a methyl are in sense of a dynamic equilibrium. Dynamic. It will be brium. Yeah. Now, as far as this methyl group is considered, the methyl group is very very bulkier than the hydrogen atom. That is, CH three group is bulkier than the hydrogen atom. Therefore, when this CH three group is present in an axial positions due to the one three carbon atoms of hydrogen and five carbon atoms of hydrogens. These are exist in only a one plane, which generates a one three diaxial repulsion in directions. Repulsion in directions, which causes the steric strain in the molecule. Therefore, the chair form of this methyl cyclohexane it becomes a strain rubber. In order to occupy the less energy, it can acquire the extra energy. <laughs> energy. Other than the equatorial form, that much energy is equal to say one point zero one kilojoule per mole. Thus, the molecule becomes a less energetic, but it is a least favored configuration. Okay. Therefore, methyl group is tried to position in a equatorial position in order to minimize the one three diaxial repulsion interaction, so as to minimize the steric strain that is the internal strain. In the molecule, thereby this uh, configuration of a methyl cyclohexanone becomes a less strain rubber one, and it becomes the less energetic one. Less energetic one. Thus, the equatorial form of methyl cyclohexane becomes have the less energy. Therefore, it is a more stable configuration one here. Okay, now we consider the potential energy level diagram here. See the diagrams here. As far as the diagrammatic representation is considered here, the diagram is that that here that is equal to this on this here on this. This is axial form. And this is of a equatorial form. This is about the this energy is about the sixty to eighty four kilojoule per mole. This is the flexible form. Okay, as far as the potential energy, and this difference is known as the seven point zero one kilojoule per mole. Axial form of the methyl cyclohexane. Okay, thus this is the potential energy level diagram for this methyl cyclohexane. As far as the axial form of difference and equatorial form of difference, here we have represented the difference is equal to seven point zero one kilojoule per mole, which is becomes a very very less, which is of having this that is from this state one. Transition state two of this chair two transition that is the um, that is the which that is average energy is equal to sixty to eighty four kilojoule per mole. But at room temperature, both the forms of a methyl cyclohexane are interconvertible to each other. Therefore, this 
methyl cyclohexane chair and both forms are cannot be isolated when they can be interchangeable or interconvertible to each other. About 95% of a equatorial form is equatorial form is stable and about 5% of this axial form of methyl cyclohexane is exist. Okay, thank you. Thus, about 95% of the equatorial form of methyl cyclohexane will be stable and 5% of axial uh, form of methyl cyclohexane is stable one. Therefore, most stable form of methyl cyclohexane is which? That is the equatorial form of methyl cyclohexane. As far as the methyl group is considered here, in comparison of hydrogen, methyl group is very, very bulky. Therefore, it can't fix up or it can't occupy the axial position so as to Minimize the diaxial interaction, repulsive interactions, methyl groups tries to fix at, that is the equatorial position. Okay. Thus, in this way, I have explained you, that is the bromocyclohexane and methyl cyclohexane of conformers through a chair and boat or flexible conformers. If are there any, any problems, you can ask me on these groups. Okay. Again, I am repeating this, that is, here. One more mistake is taken by me, that is in the graphical nature, that is of these graphics. First, I am writing in case of a bromocyclohexane here. Bromocyclohexane. You have to keep the difference like this. Okay. Here, this difference is due to the axial form. By mistake, it, is, it can be here written as a, a board form. Simply just... Here this is axial and this is a equatorial form. This is a equatorial form here. Also, see here that is the positions are due to this. Are that is first is axial form and this is second one is a equatorial form here. And this difference in a bromocyclohexane is due to this 2.01 kilojoule per mole. That is in case of a bromocyclohexane. Here we are talking about case 1, case 2 here. Okay. Now in case of this, a second point that is of this which bromocyclohexane, methyl cyclohexane here. In case of this methyl cyclohexane also, here the, here the also, that is equal to this. Okay. This is axial 1. And this is a equatorial one. And this is of a cyclohexanol is what happens here? That is again I am drawing here. That is. This difference and this difference is nothing but is which 2.8 kilojoule per mole. Here are axial and here equatorial. The difference is due to here PS1, here PS2, here flexible board format. This is in the case of which that is a methyl cyclohexane. Difference is equal to 7.06 kilojoule per mole. Here 2.8 kilojoule per mole in a cyclohexanol. Hexanol. And in bromocyclohexane, what is the difference? That is 2.01. Thus, by <coughs> simple mistakes, I have written in here instead of chair and board, but it is a axial and a equatorial forms of this respective cyclohexane. That is, this is a bromocyclohexane, bromoaxial, cyclohexane, equatorial, bromocyclohexane, and so on. Okay, thank you.